Hello, everybody. Welcome back to math. Today, we're going to be doing another bar graph activity. So again, I'm going to review the strategies that you'll be using today to help you when you answer the questions on your own. So today, you're going to be looking at a baseball bar graph. And this bar graph recorded, um, it keeps track of the number of runs that each player on the team gets. So on this side of the graph, they call it the y-axis. You have the numbers for the number of runs. And then down here on the x-axis, you're going to have each teammate by name. So each player on the team, we have Mark, Tracy, Doug, Patty, and Sarah. And if you look at the numbers, they, the graph is counting by twos. So if it's in between, like over here for Sarah, if it's not touching a line, that's going to be one more than the number on the last line or one less than the number on the next line. So Sarah would have seven runs because she's in between six and eight. Mark, eight runs. Tracy, 12 runs. Doug, he's in between over here. So that would be 11 runs. Patty has four runs. And Sarah, like we said, has seven runs. Okay. So now let's go over to the questions. First one, simple. How many runs did Sarah have? So, you know, you just use the graph. That's just the one step problem, just looking to see how many. Number two, how many runs did the player with the most runs have? So you'd have to look and find the player that has the highest bar, and then you look and see how many runs they have. It doesn't say who is the player, it asks how many runs. So your answer would be a number, not the person's name. How Number three, how many more runs did Doug have than Sarah? So we know that that's a more than problem. So we know with more than or less than problems, your step one is to figure out how many is, does each one have. And then your second step is to subtract. You do big number, take away little number. And then whatever your answer is, that's the difference. That's how many more or how many less than. Number four is how many fewer runs did Mark have than Tracy? So that's a less than problem. Exact same strategy. Figure out how many runs Mark had, how many Tracy had, and then you take the bigger number and subtract by the smaller number. Number five, how many runs did Mark and Patty have? So you know when it asks you how many did Mark and Patty have, when it just says and, they want you to add. So your step one would be figure out how many Mark has and how many Patty has, and then step two would be to add them up. Number six, who has more runs, Mark and Doug or Tracy and Patty? So you would have to do it twice. You'd have to follow your two steps twice. You'd have to figure out how many do Mark and Doug have together when you add them up and how many do Tracy and Patty have together when you add them up and then figure out who has more, Mark and Doug or Tracy and Patty. Number seven, which two players' runs added together are less than Tracy's? So they want to know which two players added up together would be less than Tracy. So if we look over here, we see that Tracy, she has the most runs. She has 12. So you have to figure out which two added up together would be less than Tracy. So if I did Mark and Doug, Mark has eight. Doug has 11, that would be 19. That would be more than Tra that would be more than Tracy, not less. Doug has 11, so anybody added with Doug is going to end up being more than Tracy. Probably same thing with Mark cuz his is pretty high for 8. So you have to figure out there's only going to be one answer that will be less than 12, less than Tracy. So you problem solve, you add up 
all the different combinations until you find the one that that works. You'll probably want to look for people that have a lower number of runs, like these guys. Try those guys out. These guys have the lowest amounts, Mark, Patty, and Sarah. Try out those combinations first. You want to equal less than 12. Number eight says, Jose scores five more runs than Tracy. How many runs did he score? So there's not, a, there's not a spot on here for Jose, but they're saying that Jose, he scored five more than Tracy. So you would look, see how many does Tracy have, and then you have to add the five more to figure out how many Jose had. That would be your answer. So you would add five to Tracy's number. And then the last one says, list the players in order from fewest runs to most runs. So you're going to go from the least amount of runs to the highest amount. So you just put the players in order from smallest numbers to biggest numbers using the graph. All right. So I think everyone knows what what to do, remember to just, if you are confused about anything, just refer back to the video to remember what the strategy is, okay? And the graph will be attached to, the, to your answer sheet, so you'll be able to look right at it the whole time. All right, guys, good luck.